My name is Philipp Reschneider. I am a director for bioinformatics at um, Oxford Nanopore in the applications team. In terms of the potential application of, of, of Oxford Nanopore sequencing, I really think the, the sky is the limit. One of the cool things, one of the things that I like about Nanopore sequencing is that it's very flexible. It can be like a small portable box or, or a large box with high throughput. It can sequence short reads or long reads. And in my, in my presentation, I tried to point at a, at, a, at a set of things, like a very wide range of things that you can do with it. Um, so so, so I, I really think there's wide ranges of applications starting from like, clinical amplicon sequencing to whole genome assembly, um, variant calling population scale. Again, I don't think there's a limit to what can be done. Talking about advancements in sorry, single molecule sequencing and nanopore sequencing, um, kind of nanopore as a company is like very committed to improvement and, and, and innovation. So there are, there are constantly improvements in terms of throughput and, 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 and these kind of things. But I think generally the technology is, 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 is able to do so many things. So I think the biggest advancement right now is growing adoption, like having more people come on board with, uh, with uh, single molecule sequencing and discover what additional information you can get out of it. Challenges in terms of, of, of using Oxford Nanopore. I think there is, there is one thing that's a bit of a chicken and an egg problem. So single uh, molecule sequencing with nanopore sequencing gives you access to, to a lot of new information, like readily available modifications or parts of the genome that were hard to sequence before. But uh, the chicken and egg problem that comes with this, if, if, you, if you run an experiment for the first time, you find, you find something new. There is no databases that you can kind of reference to or check with. So there is this there's this phase now where people need to use the technology to build up this knowledge and these databases so 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 that those exist and people in the future can just kind of like refer back to databases as they do now with, with our technologies. Mm -hmm.